I see basically you're looking in the, in the bookstore over here and maybe you're like looking after the welfare of your your new Svarim over here. Binyan and, Olam, Binyan and, and Tehillim Fair Park. Points on Tehillim. I'm uh, looking. They're, they're, they're basically like I, I got the last copies. I think that they're selling out over here. Yeah. I have to say. They say, they say it's the best thing since sliced bread. You ever heard that one? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's say you track me down everywhere. Somebody asked me, why? What's going on with this Benzin? Why are you always in the car with him? Where are you going? Rabbi Yosef, every year it has to be a Mahalach. We're always movers and shakers. That's what the Neshama is, is put in this world, to continue grow and move and staying stable. The Rebbe says the sign of a living thing is if, he's, if it grows. Not a sign of Mahalach. Anyways, you're not here for personal speeches, personal mo motivation. We're going to speak of something about the Parsha. You know, I, I saw a description that Shabbos Nachamu is a Freilich of Shabbos. It's a Yomtiv. Why is it a Yomtiv? It's like Yitzhiyah Smitzrayim. Why? Because for the last couple of weeks, it was very tense. It was Bain Hamid Sarim. We were restricted. And now, once Tisha B'Av is over, it's Yitzhiyah Smitzrayim. Now we will be let loose and we start like a Simcha period together and we come to the other extreme. The Rebbe has a fascinating Sicha. Where the Rebbe, the Rebbe quotes the Yalgul Chimayni, and the Yalgul Chimayni says that there are many times, we find, I think, five times, that the Torah repeats itself the same word, as, and Kulon Lashem Geula. I think he uses Lech Lecha, Pocket Pekadeti, Nachamu Nachamu. So the Rebbe says, oh, 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 Nachamu Nachamu is a different leak than the other ones. Because the other ones, even though it says the same word, or sort of the same word, it's either red different or even pokai pokality, not exactly. By nachamu, nachamu, it actually is the same word twice. And the Rebbe tries to make, the Rebbe tries, the Rebbe <laughs> makes a whole teaching, the fact that that's the highest level of Gula, it's the same word twice. What is that all about? So I'll tell you a thought. You know, this week was the yard side of Rabbi Yoyal Khan, Oliver Shalom. I was listening to some uh, interviews of some of his uh, Talmudim. Fascinating, fascinating. One Talmud said a story that he once went to visit him right after he had a surgery. I think it was even on Tisha B'av, or right before, right around Tisha B'av. And he came to visit him. He still had the oxygen mask on his, on his mouth. And he called him over. He went to tell him about Torah. Like he just came from Shemayim. And he tells him, he motions to him three. He says, there are three halachas about Tisha B'av. First of all, we don't say Tachnun because Mashiach was born. Second of all, he says, you do Kiddush Levana Matzi Tisha B'Av. And third of all, right after that, there's two B'Av. What happened on two B'Av? The Masei Miz Midbar stopped dying. He says, what's the connection? This, he says, he's telling it to him. He had, he had low energy, and he was trying to express, he's teaching him this thing. What's the connection between the three? He says, what's the, the Masei Midbar? Anybody who, was in the, anybody who was in the Midbar died out, died out during that period of time, right? How do they know? By the, end of every year, by, by, by the end of the year, they all buried their own grave, and whoever was meant to die, died, and everybody else got up. It came the last year, they did the same thing, and nobody died. But so they, they still weren't sure. They thought maybe they made a miscalculation with the calendar. When did they realize that there was no miscalculation of the calendar? Two above, because two above, when the Kaima Sirib Musa, when you see the moon, they knew. It, it, Tisha B'Av passed, and, and obviously the Gzeir is over. So the Rabbi Yoel says, excuse me, so why is the Simcha on B'Av? The Simcha should be on Tisha B'Av, when they made their grave and they didn't, and they didn't die. Is a raya that the Tisha B'Av, the Tisha B'Av is the day where the, the celebration really should be. It says that's the connection between the three. It's, the three is like this. Mashiach was born on, on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the Tisha B'Av. The day of Tisha B'Av is actually a celebration day. It's already, from the from the beginning, it's a day of Yom Tiv. Ah, we don't see it yet. Just remember, look at at the at, at Kiddush Levana much of Tisha B'Av. Just like Kiddush Levana, that's when they re realize what, uh, by the Levana taught them what, what should have happened to Tisha B'Av. The same is every Yid. Eventually, we will see what the good is. One last thing. The stress and the kudah of this parsha is over and the whole Chumash Devarim is consistency. Why? Because it's all a repeat. 
Just repeat, repeat, repeat. Vaschanan, tough, tough, kuf, tas, five hundred and fifteen tvilas, tvilas. And uh, the Aseris and Dibris is repeated. There are a couple of psukim that are new here, and for all the uh, 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 listeners, uh, why the Apostle Atta Reisel Adas, we only say Shabbos, the Zoysa we say every time this creates a Torah, well, let that, why do Atta Reisel Adas only Shabbos? But I want to finish off with a Geshemak of Verse of the Rebbe. The Gemara says, Masech Tabrachis, Kaveh El Hashem, Chazak, Biyamit, Lebecha, Kaveh El Hashem. Says the Gemara, what's the shot twice, Kaveh? Answers the Gemara: If you if you dive into Hashem and you see that Abish is not listening, not responding, dive in a second time. Repeat. Correct it up. But what's the chacham? If Abish didn't answer the first time, why repeat a second time? Answers the Rebbe: The Abish wants to see that your first tefillah was for real. How does he see that if you're willing to do it a second time? Be consistent. So we should all be consistent in our commitment. I very this Hashem. The Abish will see our sincerity and he'll bring Mashiach and build the base of Mikdash. Let's see that now. Amen.